Hey, how's it going everybody? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the Nmap utility for Linux. So to start off, please check the link in the description, go to the article, and uh, learn how to install Nmap. And if you don't want to do that, it's just sudo apt install Nmap for Ubuntu. And uh, whatever, if you're using a different type of Linux distribution, just search for Nmap and install it that way. It's pretty easy to find. So there are a lot of different things you can do with this tool. I'm going to cover scanning a single host, scanning multiple hosts, scanning IP ranges, and scanning subnets. I'm not going to do anything more than that because there's just a whole bunch of stuff we could talk about Nmap in particular and we're just covering the basic stuff. So let's start off with the single host. So in all the targets that I'm going to be scanning, I'm going to be scanning my router just because it's faster and I don't want to mess with anybody's uh, you know, website or whatever. <laughs> so to scan a single host, you would do, first you won't need to get a root shell because the nmap utility, it needs to be run as root. From there you can do nmap and then your target, which in my case would be my router's host name, which is weird name I know. One second. Would help if I installed nmap, now wouldn't it you guys? So uh, as you can see, it's done the scan and we can see it's a Belkin router. It's got the MAC address and uh, all of that. So that's information for that. So now if we want to do multiple targets, we can do nmap, the living Wi-Fi, and then I could probably do localhost as well. And it will scan and uh, scan two IP addresses, shows information from both. Uh, it doesn't print it out stacked up, but it does show all the information here. And we can see localhost is right here, and uh, it's all listed in the same, we have port information, all of that. If I want to scan an IP range, I can do nmap, ss, and for operating system information, you do o, and uh, I, ca I, didn't, I didn't show you guys that in these two commands here because this is just the basic ones. But if you want to learn more information for each of these scans, you can do uh, dash O and dash VV. That's all in the article that I wrote in the description. So check that out for sure. But uh, scanning IP range, nmap, ss, and then your IP range. I'm going to do the IP range on my router. So that would be 10.196.1.0. Point zero, and then let's go to uh, 100. Now, this is going to differ depending on what you use in your networking equipment. Um, in the article, I cover 192.168 because that's what most people use, and I put in mine, which is 10.196.1 because some of them are like that as well. But if yours are completely different, you can follow the example I have in the article, which is which will help you understand it, but basically just your IP address, your target IP address, starting point, and then as many IP addresses as you want to go through. So this will go through 10.196.1.0 all the way through to 100. So let's see what that looks like. And we can also add a dash VV if we want a whole bunch of information. Uh, so let's go. So as you can see, it's discovered a bunch of different information bunch of different devices. A lot, not a lot of the computers I have on my network right now are up right now. So as you can see, it skipped through a bunch of different IPs that it wasn't able to find, but it was able to find a couple of, a uh, couple of devices. And that's how that all works. Um, and the last thing we're going to cover here is how to scan a subnet. So a subnet is similar to an IP range. I'm not a IP address expert or anything, but uh, this is generally better because you can scan everything on the IP address uh, possible in the subnet. So basically similar to the IP range thing here. So add a starting point. So in my case, it would be, let's go with point one. And then you can just do slash 24. And it'll do something similar to the IP range scan, almost identical actually. And uh, it will look for devices, it'll tell you if it finds anything, and it will print the information. It's a little bit faster, and it goes through more IP addresses because it tries every possible combination. 
through the uh, slash 24 notation for subnets. Uh, this is going to take a long time, so let me just close up the video here. This is a little bit more complicated than some of the other videos I've done on this channel. Um, I apologize if it's a little too complicated. Some some of you guys might not understand uh, the way Nmap works, and I apologize. I try to make it as easy to understand as possible. But if you need more information, check out the link in the description. Check out my article. It all goes over this very, very well detailed. And it also has a link to a nice GUI tool uh, that will let you use the same features of Nmap, a nice Linux application uh, called Zenmap, where you can do this all with the mouse. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.